Good day everyone, I am Hannah May Bautista from D3D. Today we are going to discuss about the Unit 4, which is Applying Leadership Theories at the Workplace. In Applying Leadership Theories at the Workplace, there are some ideas that need to be considered. It is being claimed that to a great extent, leadership theories have helped form and shape the kind of governance that exists today. Many aspects of this theories can be applied to help one improve his or her leadership skills. Here are some suggestions derived from Corporate Finance Institute. Number one, maximize your strengths. As proposed by the trait theory, effective leadership depends on the traits that one possesses. Leaders should strive to focus on their strengths rather than their weaknesses. The strengths vary from one leader to another and may include a strong will is crucial to staying resilient and seeing leaders through difficult times. No matter how challenging the situation may be, a strong-willed leader is able to find inner strength and carry on until he or she overcomes all challenges. A decisive nature is another strength that some leaders possess. Decisiveness means that when others may be perplexed, a leader can calmly assess the situation and choose one action to unite everyone. But since they may not always make the right decisions, they must also be willing to learn from their mistakes. That was maximize your strength. As a leader, you are the one who needs to build or lift your team up. Number two, be inclusive leaders. Some of the more complex situational theorists emphasize focusing on people. It means that they acknowledge individual people to be their greatest assets and not just mere numbers in their workforce. Being an inclusive leader requires that one constantly involves other people in their leadership, whether it is by always welcoming the feedback of others or delegating more responsibility to others than other forms of leadership. So now, let us move on to key takeaways. There are numerous ways of defining leadership. Some leadership theorists attempt to explain what differentiates a leader, while some explain how great leaders come to be. The great man theory believes that the inherent traits that one is born with contribute to great leadership. Situational theory recommends leaders to adopt a leadership style depending on the situation at hand, while the behavioral theory is all about the learning, the skills necessary to become a good leader. Leadership theories don't only exist in history. They are concepts with actionable advice that can be adopted by many from executive managers to community leaders and government officials. So, it stated that leadership doesn't only exist in theory because here in real world where everyone exists, we also have our leaders, not only in the family, but also in our community, government, and any other organization. We have a leader to lead to have a better plan and decisions in life that we are going to take so now let us move on to skills of educational leaders from Matthew Lynch November 11 2017 he stated that each day you are leading by example whether you realize it or not or whether it's positive or negative you are influencing those around you it is from Rob Liano and he is correct. Why? Because as a human being who exists in this world, we are a leader by ourselves because we influence others, not just by the words we say, but the action we made. So I think that was the quotation that Rob Liano wanted us to know that we are all leaders who influence our fellow man and that's it so now let us move on to what will the schools of tomorrow be like it is also about leadership no one can say for certain what will be the future of our educational leaders but 
one thing we do know, schools are under pressure to keep up the ceaselessly rapid fire changes occurring in our culture. It is difficult to prepare students for the future when we have no way of knowing exactly what that future will be like. In the context, educational leaders need a unique skill set to make sure that students get what they need. The prevalence of technology inside and outside the classroom, as well as the increased accountability for student achievement, have drastically changed the educational landscape. With challenges on hand, Matthew Lynch 2017 suggests skills that tomorrow's educational leaders need to keep up. Here are the skills that tomorrow's educational leaders will need to keep up. It is from Matthew Lynch 2017. Number 1. An understanding of student outcomes. Curriculum must evolve to reflect the skills that students will need in the future. This educational leader of the future will understand the practices and environment necessary for student achievement. Number 2. The ability to implement large-scale turnarounds. The bar is set increasingly high for student achievement in numeracy and literacy. Educational leaders must institute programs that lead to deep and lasting learning. Number 3. An understanding of the variety of tools available to educators. Educational leaders must have knowledge of the array of available tools and the precise ways in which they can support teaching and learning. Number four, the ability and the desire to reform school culture. The leaders of the future must have a compelling vision and commitment to high standards so that they can implement deep and lasting reform. Number five, a commitment to quality professional development. The leaders and educators of tomorrow know that they must learn something new every day to keep their methods fresh in changing times. Number six, knowledge of the best ways to support staff. Tomorrow's leader will understand what staff needs to carry out school and district goals effectively. Number seven, an unwavering moral compass. The school leaders of the future have a strong social conscience and always keep the best interests of students in the forefront of decision making. Number 8. The ability to measure progress and success. As new tools are introduced, it's important to evaluate their effectiveness and their impact on the student's learning. Number 9. Personal use and exploration of new tools. The school leaders of tomorrow will model learning for others by adding new tools to their own repertoire. And then number 10, number 10, which is the last number, emotional intelligence. When guiding their schools through disruptive changes, school leaders will need to maintain strong relationship with students, teachers, parents, and even the community. So, all in all, it says that there are 10 uh, responsibility of the good leader because we all know that a good leader must be a good follower too because a good leader is the foundation of his or her team so being a leader you need to prioritize your members so as a good leader you should follow this 10 responsibility that a good leader must have according to Mat Matthew Lynch 2017. So that was the unit for leadership is all about.